Hello, I'm Super Orange Cat here and today with Tanami's ratings from this past Saturday, May 4th, 2024. Let's start at the top of the block. At the top of the block, we have the finale or season one finale of Ninja Kamui at a point zero seven, then Zom 100 at a point zero six, then we have One Piece at a point zero five, the second episode of One Piece at a point zero four, followed by Nardo Shippuden at a point zero four. So not really an ideal week. In fact, quite a terrible week. And really a very non-ideal number for Ninja Kamui to end its run on. And also, I've been following total viewership. Its total viewership of 141,000 is the lowest of any episode of Ninja Kamui. So, and Ninja Kamui has been kind of interesting to look at in the ratings. Especially if you removed the last three weeks and if you asked me, Hey, Super Orange Cat, what? how would you describe Ninja Kamui's ratings? I would have said fairly well. Really, it hit point one a few times. If it wasn't hitting point one, it was hitting point oh nine. But the last few weeks have been a little shaky with its rating, and it's been dipping to that point zero seven range. And that's not. I mean, the question is, we'll wait and see because we'll have a new uh, Tanami opener three weeks from now. Because again, next two weeks are Ninja Kamui marathons, which. Considering, like, well, how well it started in the ratings seems like kind of a good idea, but then you see how it ended with pretty poor ratings, and it doesn't seem like such a good idea anymore. And again, it's not even around a holiday. Like, this isn't this doesn't even cover Memorial Day weekend, which occasionally Tanami puts marathons for. But it's going to be the next two weeks, and it's clearly a stall tactic. We do have a new show announcement, though. I mean, new show announcement as in made last week. We do know that Ninja Kamui would be replaced in the block by My Adventures with Superman Season 2. I've spoken my piece about that. And Ninja Kamui is not going to be completely gone from the block, though. It's going to return towards the end of the block as a rerun of the dub. Because you remember, the sub has been airing at like 3 a.m. for the past 13 weeks. And again, since it's technically considered a rerun, that number doesn't get released. And I would really like to see what that number is, but... Looks like we're not going to get it. But anyhow. And if you look at the rest of the block. You have that ZOM 100. I think it's been a .06 every week it's been on. It really. It's it's not captivating people. I don't think it's been captivating people. In the way that the people at Tanami had anticipated. Again. I would never even heard of this anime. Until Tanami had it picked up. And it just kind of was buried among the other anime back in like early 2023. And it wasn't something I particularly really got much notice of. Really noticed. One Piece and Nardo Shippen, you can't speak much about it. I think, I was going to say we're committed to this, but starting when we come back with a normal Tanami schedule a couple weeks from now, One Piece is going to be back down from two episodes to one episode again. Because we're also rerunning the Entertainment District arc of Blade of not Blade Runner of a uh, Demon Slayer towards the end of the block. And again, I feel like the initial decision to run these two marathons in Ninja Kamui was a stall tactic, and then something probably fell through. I don't mean like oh they're waiting for the ink to dry. I mean a deal probably just completely fell through, which is why, because again we're technically gonna not have anything fill in for Likers Recoil. Because again, like I said, the My Adventures of Superman is a one-to-one -one switch with Ninja Kamui. We have more reruns at the end of the block starting on May 25th. And that's the buried lead when people talk about, oh, My Adventures of Superman's coming season, season two coming May 25th. Yeah, but I mean, the block is now getting becoming more and more dense with reruns. So really, we're gonna have My Adventures of Superman, Zom 100, and then one piece of Naruto, and then a handful of reruns, and then the block's over. And, again, it looks like we're probably not going to get a new show announcement for a while. It'll be interesting, and I believe, well, if you include the two marathon weeks, I believe nine weeks from now we'd have to have a replacement for Zom 100, and really like 17, 16, 17 weeks from now we have to have a new replacement for Naruto, of all shows. That show is finally coming to an end. It first appeared on Tanami. The, the, the Tanardo Shippuden 
first aired on Toonami way back at near like the start of 2014. So it's been over a decade of it more or less just nonstop. Every normal scheduled week, Naruto's appeared for 10 years. That's insane. And we're going to have to say goodbye to it. And maybe we get a new show to replace it. If we do get a new show, don't expect the moon and the stars. Expect an older license. Maybe a bit more of an obscure anime. Because I feel like they, they blew their whole load out with Lycoris Recoil right at the end of 2023 with that show announcement. I was stoked when they had that announcement. Because like I said, I think if I recall correctly, that was my number two best Toonami moment 2023 was them getting Lycoris Recoil. Because it seemed like we're going to get a new audience. We're going to get more people. We're going to get this infusion to the block. And that infusion never really came. And then you get Zom 100, which on paper seemed like a decent move. People aren't flocking to it. It actually almost actually almost had a higher overall viewership than Ninja Kamui by 9,000. By 9,000 people, Ninja Kamui beat out Zom 100. And that would have been outright embarrassing if Ninja Kamui got built on in its last episode. And that's one good, more good thing you can say about Ninja Kamui. In its 13 weeks on Toonami, it never got built on. Which... Doesn't seem like it should be a big achievement, but considering how sometimes shows get built on here, you can't take that for granted. And again, Toonami is in an interesting position. I think it's pretty clear that they don't have that much money, at least at the moment. Especially because I said, we have two new slow sh show slots, but only one's actually being filled in for the new show. And it's one that was probably free because it was already under the Warner Brothers Discovery umbrella, the My Adventures with Superman. I think the first season debuted on Max, and then they just re-ran season one on Tsunami, if I recall correctly. If I recall correctly, I think it did pretty okay in the ratings on Tsunami. Good enough, and enough corporate synergy that we have season two debuting on Tsunami. Maybe it's part of a business strategy Warner Brothers Discovery's had. Warner Brothers, Discovery, Warner Brothers Discovery tongue twister has been very much maligned in a lot of their business decisions, definitely with regards to animation. So, looks like at least Zaslav is rolling the dice here. And let's see if it comes up box cars, or let's see if it comes up snake eyes. So, what do you guys think? Leave your comments, leave your opinions down below. I am Super Orange Cat, and that is all.